What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday to ya. We had a good day. No way. Kodak is in the clear. Here you go, right here. Kodak surges after review. Fine, CEO options weren't illegal. They just didn't really know what they were doing. Apparently, I read through it, but yeah, they're all good. Now, what I'm kind of surprised about is how it only ran up 35%. With typical stock, that'd be a huge run up. With how crazy vol volatile Kodak has been, I thought at least it'd run up to 16 bucks here where this support was, or all the way up to 60 bucks, or why did it run up to 60 bucks ever? Huh? If it's not gonna run up there now, now that they're in the clear, that just because all the Robin Hitters are cut their losses on it? I don't know. But this, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow continuation, pull, keep pulling up? I don't know. But I still have this all I sold that expires on Friday for eight bucks. So if it doesn't dip back down, I will be selling 100 shares of it, which is okay. We're up. Today we're up $213 on that position, 207 total. Um, this call will, well, it won't expire worthless. Um, we got the $45 credit and then we will sell 100 shares at $8, which is how that works. So basically I capped the upside at $8. But what's below $8, I keep my shares and I keep the premium at $45 above $8. I sell 100 of my shares at $8 instead of the $6.29 I bought it at. So I will have basically the difference between $6.29 and $8. I'll have that much gain on 100 shares plus the $45 premium. So Kodak's worked out all right for me. Um, I guess I'm hoping it'll come just below $8 so I won't sell them. And then it shoots up the next day. I don't know. We'll see. That's Kodak. So that's cool. I'm. I'm stoked they're not in trouble and I guess they're gonna get their loan to do chemical stuff for COVID. However, I'm not stoked that it didn't go crazy. Not sure. sure. I mean, 36% I know is quite a bit. And it looked like earlier in the day I wasn't watching, but yeah, I mean, it shot up pretty high. I think it's probably, I don't know, is it just a lot of people that were bag holding? And this 10 11 range and just trying to sell out could be could be another bump tomorrow we'll see um our count today we were a little negative and then in the last five minutes of course as usual with tesla option contracts we shot up these were negative like 400 today these debit spreads and now they're negative 155 so we ended down 35 instead of down whatever this was 279 um wells fargo came up today so my all i sold lost value and it looks like i might get exercised if friday comes around it doesn't drop below 255 which is fine with me i want to get out of wells fargo got enough um what else did we do Tesla's kind of looking like a top a little bit, but I'm not going to sell out of my options. Battery day is kind of a big catalyst for me, so I'm going to at least hold hold them for uh, for more. This this isn't crazy top. I mean, it could kind of consolidate down here or it could run back up tomorrow. Sorry, that's uh, all the options getting canceled because the market's closed. Um, oh. DKNG, what do you know? That did end up being a bull flag. Remember here and here, I said, oh, looks like a bull flag. Bada bing, came up even more. It was up seven something percent today. These big red candles and kind of this chop, it made it, to me, it seemed like this might be a top. Um, I don't, there's no reason, there's no catalyst for me to hold it longer. There's not earnings coming up. There's not some news event like a battery day like Tesla. The DraftKings, I think it'll keep going up just as a whole, but since options expire, um, I don't have all the time in the world to wait for it to climb. So September 25th is my expiration. I sold out of it. Yep, I'm a sellout. However, I will sell out if it nets me 
400% profit. Get it on there? No, let's see on here. Um, BKNG. Here it is. We sold it for 400 bucks. And then we bought into it for 85. What was that $315? 325? No, 315. So that's not bad. It was about, I think it was about 400%. Um, maybe would have kept going, but this expiration is coming up pretty quick and we're already in the money on it. So, you know, we were pretty good in the money. Um, I think I'll probably wait for it to, it might kind of have a reversal because on the daily, pretty, pretty overbought, pretty overextended here. So it might kind of come back down and then I'll, um, I mean, if it's coming down with some velocity, I'll get puts on it. And I'll, I'll probably get some calls or or get shares in this uh, throw to long term once it's kind of hit this uh, support around here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be messing with DraftKings probably. That's a good one. Um, oh, good news for the Robinhood for the long term. Look at this. Some of these are up. So Kodak I can get out of. Positive on it. Wells Fargo I can get out of. So if, you, if this doesn't get exercised, um, I'll buy the contract back and close it. Or just let it expire worthless and close it. Um, cars finally coming back up. We're up on another one today, I thought, too. Oh, BSGM. Did that start selling off? Just sold those. The market kind of was crashing at the end of the day there. I think it kind of brought a lot of stuff down with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that had a sell off. Okay. We were positive up on it up here. Be on the hourly chart um it still looks kind of bullish didn't have a big cross over the nine just kind of this long wick on here or a little wick i don't know we'll see this might kind of keep going rsi is back to 58 it's not terrible macd looks good so tomorrow if this keeps going up i'm gonna maybe sell it at some point soon i don't even know what the catalyst was for taking it up but that'll be nice to have 500 bucks back for capital to spend. Mm, and then, let's see. Novin, I think that came up today too, maybe? Yep. Novin's coming up. I didn't open any spy credit spreads. It's Wednesday, and I didn't open one yesterday on the Robinhood. I did, however, open up one on here that we made money with. 26 bucks. It was firing today open it up in the middle of the day like noon 347 348 call credit spread so if the spy stays below 347 we make max gain which is 26 bucks that worked out um yeah fedex adobe you know they had good earnings i was all pumped on it they ran up i wasn't watching the market in the morning so i didn't see it selling off i probably could have gotten out of fedex with a little bit of a gain um, hopefully it has a continuation. I'm still holding the contracts. Hopefully the next week or so it has a continuation and going up. Not too sure what's, maybe it was already priced in, kind of sold off. I don't know. I mean, it didn't sell off. It's still up 5%, but didn't kind of keep going at all. Definitely not like it's done before also. Um, and then Adobe, Adobe actually sold off. Yeah. So this, maybe it was priced in already. Not sure on that but those might not those might not end up being good plays. BA, Boeing starting to show signs of some bullishness. So hopefully that's soon so I can sell that before it expires. Yeah, BA looks pretty good actually. That's pretty strong. Yeah, it's crossing over too. This is called the, the golden cross. The nine crosses over the 180. Once that average crosses over that average, then it should be bullish but see it can happen and then not really matter also but that is that that's about it for today i don't know what else there was there's kodak news tesla's kind of consolidating maybe maybe coming back down a little bit um i'm just kind of thinking about what i want to get out of and kind of trimming some of these positions yeah space space kind of went down today 
I think about what I want to put in my long term here. Um, and then on tomorrow, I'll probably do another spy credit spread on here. However, I might try a uh, AT&T credit spread. Just way out of the money with a lot of contracts again. AT&T or just something that doesn't really spike or move a whole lot. So that's it. Hopefully you guys, uh, you're still bag holding Kodak. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress out if you had, if you bought it in at 20 bucks, I'd stress out. No, I'm just kidding. But if you bought in higher up, it, I, I feel like it might keep going up. I mean, a lot of upside potential and all on the same, you know, for the same reasons that it could be higher now. So I don't know if this, not too sure. We'll see if there's continuation here or what kind of news develops with that. Maybe Kodak will, you know, start using that money and news will come out and it'll like you back up again. But I wouldn't worry about too much about it. Um, Kodak basically is a player and people are, are looking at it now for more things than just filming cameras. So that is neat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Sub up, like up, comment down if you have any questions, if you have any um, stickers you want me to look at or you know, long-term stuff or options that you think are coming up that would be good to get into. Of course, my E-Trade here is doing the funny Tesla thing at the end of the day. This was negative like 1500 all day and then whoop. Tesla debit spread shoot up. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Out.